All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, sort of a tutorial video. Really, I just want to show off a um, project I've been working on, and really, it's just a start to a project that I'd like to work on. I just thought I'd kind of, you know, document or just kind of show, you know, what I've been doing in case you're interested in doing something like this, uh, a project of your own. So this is actually with the Raspberry Pi. And what I did was I, in Python, I created a GUI using a program, or an, uh, not a program, uh, a library called Tkinter, T-K-I-N-T-E-R. Basically, this allows me to easily create GUIs, uh, buttons, things, uh, you know, I can type in an, an entry form, uh, stuff like that with Python. So um, basically what I did is I created a GUI on the Raspberry Pi that will allow me to change the colors of a red green blue LED and also I have some other LEDs hooked up to that. So really it's a simple project but the concept is there. If you're a beginner to Raspberry Pi, like like I, I probably have this in the video, video title, this is not for advanced people. This is for beginners if you've never used a Raspberry Pi before and you'd like to get into actually doing, you know, bridging the gap between the digital world and the real world, you know, take your circuit, create a GUI on the digital uh, monitor on your Raspberry Pi and have that control your LED on your circuit, this video will kind of, you know, demonstrate what I've done and you can comment under it if you need help and if you'd like to do the same thing. Hope to hear from you guys, uh, but uh, let's take a look at the project. Okay, uh, so this is the, um, this is uh, the project here. So over here you see the, uh, the GUI that I made. And uh, on the other side of the screen, you can see, here we go, hello, you can see the um, circuit. So I'm um, very sorry about the terrible video quality. Uh, I'm using two you know, webcams that aren't the best quality, but it's all I have right now. So, <laughs> uh, okay, so real quick, I'll just show off um, what this can do. So we'll, this is the red button here. You can't see the text very well, but it says red. I'm gonna click red and those turn on. We're gonna click blue and you'll notice the red, green, blue LED is on as well as the blue over here. Now you'll notice this green light, this little green light. Oh, you can't really see it very well. There it is. There's So that little green light um, does turn on it's just because I ran out of blue LEDs. <laughs> so I used the little green one there. Um, so that's that's the blue. Then we've got, uh, got green and we've got something called Disco, which turns them all on. Looks really cool. You got an interesting pattern. Um, and then you've got them all off, and then there's all on. So you can turn them off, turn them on. You've got just the red, blue, green, Disco, turn it off. So yeah, that is the uh, that's the project um, right now as I have it. That took me about three hours to do just because I was still kind of new to the whole GUI thing and I think once I got it I, uh, you know, setting everything up and thinking about what I was doing and all that. So about three hours in total um, throughout the whole day. So um, uh, the code, I'm not sure if you want to take a look at this, but the code is... Uh, this is all the code that went into doing this. Quite a lot of code. Um, but you know, you've got, you're importing three libraries here, Tkinter, um, Time, and then the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. You're importing those. So then you've got, you know, you're creating a window and you've got all the stuff that goes into Tkinter. There's all this. And basically that's all this stuff here um, is to make that really nice looking GUI. You, know, you can change the color and all that stuff so um, so yeah if you guys are interested in the code um, if you've never learned to kinder before you'd like to learn how to do something like this of your own uh, let me know uh, I'd be uh, happy to teach you show you maybe even do a video on just to kinder I'll probably end up doing that anyways so um, okay well uh, thank you guys very much for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. If you have any project ideas, anything you'd like to learn about, uh, want me to show you how to do, I can, I'll uh, definitely do that. Okay, we'll see you guys later.